Hi everyone and welcome to our special careers event um, for MIMA School of Art and Design at Teesside University. I'm Professor Sarah Perks. I'm a curator, which means I put together exhibitions and projects, uh, but I specialize in people as opposed to things. Um, and I'm also head of art and design here. Just want to say a big thank you for joining us today. Uh, and given us the opportunity to talk to you about MIMA School of Art and Design. Our school shares its name with MIMA, which is the art gallery and museum uh, in Middlesbrough. That's the heart of our school. And I hope you've had the chance to visit or you will do soon. MIMA School of Art and Design might be a new name, but we are Teesside University. And also we've been teaching design for 50 years. I know I don't look old enough. Uh, also in the Sunday Times, that big newspaper, MIMA School of Art and Design was rated this year as eighth in the UK for graduate outcomes. That's eighth in the whole of the UK. Apart from eight being my lucky number, um, I think it means that we have a super amazing track record of our graduates getting jobs. So today we're going to introduce you to some of the subjects that you can come and study with us and a chance to meet some of our amazing team here. Before we run through these exciting subjects, just want to tell you a little bit about the creative industries. So the creative industries is a huge term and it encompasses lots and lots of different jobs in the sector. You could be anything from a pop star to a publisher. And what's important to know is that this industry is growing. It's really important financially to the UK economy and it's also really important for well-being, for innovation, um, for all of us to live our best lives basically. So the creative industries is worth around 92 billion to the UK and it employs over 3 million people. Between 2016 and 19, the jobs in the sector in the northeast of England grew by 30%. And in terms of future proofing, it's unlikely that all of these will be replaced by robots. Um, robots are great for certain things, but they can't really create design and make art like people. OK, so let's get on with telling you a bit more about these subjects and introducing some of my amazing colleagues. So I want to start with Mark Freery and he's going to tell you about product design. Hi there, I'm Mark Freery. I'm program leader for product design. Today we have put together a, a short presentation which showcases four of our more recent graduates from the last four or five years. Um, who have gone into varied careers within the design industry. I also want to give you a little, a little insight into the type of work that they, um, they, they, they took uh, while they were here at te uh, learn teacher, uh, learned at Teesside in order to develop their portfolio and skills, which got them that first position in industry. Nick, can you move the slide on, Jade? OK, so the first student we've got, hopefully this will appear, is Callum Brookbanks. Callum is a local student. He came to us from A levels. He came to us not really knowing exactly what what area, what career, what, what area of pro design he wanted to go into. So his three years was quite a journey. He worked really hard. You know, during his second year, he won an award in the Student Star Pack Award, which is an international packaging competition, which was great for him, great for his CV, and it also means I got a night out at the award ceremony, which was fantastic. Um, during his final year, his final project, he produced what you can see here, which is a, a sports ground marker using GPS technology. So in football grounds, instead of having a groundsman pushing a, uh, a bucket of uh, white paint around uh, the, the, the field, they actually could just program this and it would go off and do its, do its own thing and allowing the groundsman to do their own thing. Um, and it was you know, the level of detail and understanding of the technology in this project that Callum went to that actually got him in his first position at a local company, well, a company based in County Durham called Eldis, Eldis Caravans and Campervans. You may have heard of them. It was quite a, um, a daunting first position for him because it was a very much a, a northeast engineering company. And as a well-known fact, engineers don't really like curves. So it was quite a baptism of fire for him um, in that first job, but he, he got there because of his level of detail and understanding of technology. Um, and to be honest, I've spoke to him just this morning. He's still there. You know, he graduated in 2016, so he's still there. 
He's still enjoying the job. His roads expanded. He's now working on not just the interiors but the exteriors of the of the camper vans and the caravans. Working in not just plastic and metal but wood fabrics. So you know, it was a great, a great first job for him. But it was the, the actual work that he did at this time at Teesside that got him that first position. The second student is Beth Sanderson, who graduated in 2018. Um, Beth is from um, Northumberland way. We weren't actually her first choice when it came to university. We were a second. But when she came to see us, saw the facilities and resources and met the people and met the students, we became her first choice. Um, Beth was a very diligent student. Again, during her second year, she won uh, the gold award in the student star pack competition for a design for an oil can that had a best uh, a special delivery system, so the anti glug. And again, we had a great night out in London, uh, the awards ceremony for that. Beth also secured uh, an internship over the summer of her second year uh, with a company called Nymas, which is a local company that do bathroom furniture. Again, great experience, great stuff for her, for her CV. In her final project, she did what you can see here, some of the uh, illustrations of the object here, which is a job site speaker. OK, this is the job site speaker that works on Bluetooth. Uh, it could actually be split, so various parts of it could, could be used around around a, a construction site. And it not, not only provided entertainment, but also provided a way of communicating with one another. So it's quite a detailed and, and, and a quite thorough project. I don't think you can actually make out the exploded view there to see the sort of detail that Beth went into in terms of the manufacturing, and understanding how injection molding and mass production is done. And it was this that then got her first position, again, which is still there, working for a, a local company in in first PDM, which is run by one of our graduates. And now she works there uh, full time as a product designer in their RP department. Next. Next one is Ralph DeLuzo. I think I need to speed up a little bit. Uh, Arel, Ralph again had a great journey with us. He won the Star Pack Award. We also did a live project in the second year with a company called uh, Essie. Uh, Essie. Uh, they liked his work that he did during that line project that they offered him a placement over the summer, which again was fantastic uh, experience and great for his CV. Um, during his, set, his third year's major project, he reversed engineered a toaster, as you can see here, for a as a live project for the company. That was recognised at an exhibition in London as one of the top five things in the show, which was fantastic considering there was hundreds and hundreds of students exhibiting that year. To have been the top five was great. And again, the, the company, Essie, as you see here, who took him in as a placement, came back during the graduation and they liked the work so much, they employed him, they offered him an intern and the two products you see here, these gas stoves, uh, to the product he produced in his time while he was working for SE. He's now moved on and working for design consultancy. And the final student that come across is, uh, is Martin Ellerts. He was a mature student, an international student from Latvia, who, who particularly came to product design, uh, product design at Teesside because he liked what he saw and what we do. Uh, Martin was a very talented man, worked in a body workshop before, before coming here, so he had a great idea, a great vision for form and detail. Again, he won competitions in his second year, Creative Conscience, did an internship over the summer, designed a fire helmet for a local solo, uh, solo thermal imaging company. Um, his final project was to do a, a yacht, as you can see in the imagery on the left there and in the little animation. Uh, because of his experience as a, in a body shop, he had, like I say, had a great idea for form and detail. So we knew he could take on a project of this immensity in terms of this big yacht. Uh, Martin always wanted, he wanted to be a yacht designer. He went on to approach a company with his work. They offered him a two, two month internship working at Dixon's Yacht Design in Southampton. Um, that, those two months have turned into years now. He still works for them, uh, although now he's freelance working from his hometown in Latvia, but still doing the same great work. The image you can see on the right there, the boat in the top, that was his first boat that actually hit the water that he'd worked on. Uh, and that uh, was 
shown at Cannes exactly a year later from graduating. OK, if we go to the last slide. Obviously, um, Teesside, we've been going for nearly 50 years, so we have graduates in of our captains of industry, head of Aston Martin, head of Phillips Healthcare, Teague in, in America. But today we just wanted to show you some more of our recent graduates and the sort of roles that we, we the students go into from graduating. Thanks very much for listening.